sound to go away though. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and uh, today you guys probably saw it in the thumbnail and the title uh, but I want to give a big shout out to Neshi because uh, we're playing Crystal Beast or we played Crystal Beast I should say and we actually came first place at our locals today and it's, it's actually pretty lit. Um, this deck, the synergy with this deck is just insane and uh, it's not exactly Neshi's list but it was heavily based off of Neshi's list and this deck just performs so well and that, that, that's really it. So big shout out Neshi, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll talk about the ratios and some things I might want to change but this deck performed really well for me. So let's get right into it. We are playing uh, three Sapphire Pegasus. You guys are going to see some cards are common, some cards are ultis, it's all over the place but whatever it is what it is. Uh, you guys can ignore that sound in the background, it's, 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 it's not going away, I don't know. But yeah, so we're playing three Sapphire Pegasus and one Ruby. This is all you need. Uh, Ruby is really good for the grind game. It helps you push for game a lot, uh, do a lot of damage. So that's why we're playing the one uh, Ruby here. And then we're playing two of the new Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. This one's signed by Neshi. Shout out Neshi again. Um, this card is obviously insane. It's the card that makes this deck just run. It's just so powerful. It helps you push for game as well. Like not only is it something that gets your combo started, it can summon itself in the battle phase as well to try to just push for more damage. So this card is really, really powerful and just helps you win a lot of games. There was actually a point where I wanted to play three of this, but I just felt like it was too bricky. So that's why I'm only playing the two. And then lastly, we're playing the one Rainbow Dragon. You need to be playing this for this, obviously. So that's kind of the Crystal Beast engine. That's all we're playing. Very small Crystal Beast monster lineup. But it's gonna be a very big spell lineup because the Crystal Beast spells are insane. So first of all, we're playing three Rainbow Bridge. This card is absolutely nuts. First of all, it gets you an extra normal summon on your turn, which is crazy. It just does so many different things for you. So you gotta be playing three of this. This going second is really powerful for you as well. So it's really good going first to get your combos going. It's really good going second to start uh, getting rid of cards your opponent controls. So this card is really powerful. And then for consistency, we're playing three Rainbow Bridge, of course, because it searches any crystal spell or trap. And then for the crystal spells or traps, we're playing two of the Awakening. I kind of want to play this at one after today uh, i think the card is good but it just felt like i was only searching like this is really good because it's in the quick it's a quick effect so it can actually help you push for a game a lot of time because you can quick effect uh summon like a ruby carbuncle and then let's say you have like a zenith and like a sapphire pegasus in your spell trap card zone you special summon this you summon these so it does help you push for a game don't get me wrong it just felt like i didn't want to ever draw the card it felt like i really wanted to search it most of the time so in the future i may cut it to one um, but a card that i really liked at two was crystal bond this is a card I originally was playing at one, but uh, the reason I decided to play two was originally I was playing a Cobalt Eagle in here for an extra name, right? But I realized that like the extra name doesn't matter as much. Like you play the extra name because like when you're searching off of all these cards, you want to have names to search. That's not necessarily just Crystal, uh, just Sapphire Pegasus. But I realized the consistency was just better. Like this being able to consistently get into this engine is just really powerful. So I decided to up this to two. And again, I might cut uh, Awakening to one. Awakening is very powerful, but again, it's just a card that I always wanted to search. Um, something I really liked was two Conclave and two Miracle. I think this is what differs from Neshi's profile. I think Neshi was always on one Miracle. I actually like the second Miracle. Um, it being a spell trap negate is really, really powerful. Also, um, thank God that that noise is gone. Hopefully you guys can hear me better now. Two and two, I think was really good. This is an Omni spell, or not Omni, sorry, a spell or trap negate. So it's really powerful because um, your board can actually kind of, kind of go wide in this deck and you don't want to go too wide because you don't want to lose to evenly matched. And this card helps you not lose to evenly, which is really powerful. Conclave, we all know how powerful this is. This floats when you destroy one of your Crystal Beast names. It's a card that bounces. It's like a disruption. It is just so powerful. So I really like four of these cards right here. So um, the only thing, again, like I would say is I might cut this to one. This, I really like that too. I, you can play that one, but I really like that too. So that's it for the Crystal Beast stuff over here. So to move into the non-Crystal Beast stuff, we're playing uh, three Ash. That's that's literally the only hand trap we're playing as well as three props for consistency um so this is the only thing with the deck that um i kind of didn't like is because you can't really fit a lot of hand traps into a format that i think requires a lot of hand traps i think this is pretty self-explanatory so let's get this out of the way um this card obviously you is own, you own three now yeah i own three now i had to, I, I paid for three so if you guys didn't know i had one for the longest time but i now have three yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, yeah, so I'm only playing three Ash. I think you can play Gamma. You can play any hand trap here. You can play Imperm here as well. The reason I chose not to play Imperm was because you actually clog your back row a lot with the Crystal Beast. So playing Imperm kind of does suck because you're putting more back row and you don't necessarily always have space. Uh, so I decided to play three Ash. It's just the most generic one. But yeah, this is the only thing that about the deck that I kind of like was sad about because I wish I could play more, but this is all you really can fit. And then for the Cash Engine, and this engine is absolutely insane. Three Fenrir, one Unicorn, one Rise Heart. Um, these are the monsters that you want to play. Obviously, 
obviously this is just like your one card combo and you're always going to get into this and so that's why you're only just playing the one unicorn uh fenrir obviously is really good so this is the thing where it's kind of like even if you're going second you don't have hand traps it's like especially a fenrir and having this to push like for like attack banish something is really powerful um this going first obviously is also really powerful even if you don't get into the full engine just being able to summon this before you can combo is, is, is just really powerful right so um I, I do like this engine i think it's very powerful and then we're also playing um to finish off the engine we're playing two of the wraith sos and one cash tier theosis so this is kind of like the full engine that you're playing um you can probably cut wraith sos to one in, in my like experience I, I feel like it's just so consistent to get to this so you can probably cut this to one and uh, so here's here's actually before we continue i'm actually gonna say this um i think you can cut these so if it, after today i think we can cut one of each of these and then play three more hand traps i think that's like just something you can do you will never need more than two fenrir like you really don't even want to start off your turn by special summoning this you'd rather get your engine going and then summon this and then get to this later yeah i cut these for three more hand traps truthfully but i mean it performed okay today so i just wanted to show you guys that but uh yeah this engine is really powerful uh we're playing one of the necro valley which is just a generic uh field spell that's really good in today's format um even though tier is gone like it's actually just really good into a lot of different things um but the way we get into this engine and the way reason it's so consistent is because we play three foolish burial goods and one of the rainbow bridge so foolish burial goods can actually send miracle as well for anyone who's interested like this card is actually not bad in the graveyard as well but you basically always want to send this first and this when you send this with fool like foolish goods alone is a crazy combo because you send you activate this you send this this you banish to search your wraith source and then this is also going to banish a crystal beast name so you're going to summon or search i guess uh, your sapphire pegasus so let's say you have open no names nothing you get to search your sapphire pegasus and then you can do a whole cash combo which ends on like an arise heart so you you always have do your full cash combo and then you can normal summon your sapphire pegasus and then you always end on a rank, rank four with this card so it, it's a really insane combo and um it's really nice because if you do open let's say your race source already then you can use this to search an echo valley um and then in the side deck it's actually really powerful as well because you can search another field spell that's really really powerful so that's it for the main deck it's 40 cards on the dot and again i kind of showed you guys what the changes that i would make are just because like you know just for extra hand traps i really like extra hand traps um let's put this over here so you guys can see ocg token signed by neshi big shout out neshi um so uh, we're playing two Arise Heart and one Big Eye. Um, this is for your cash engine, of course. We're not playing Shangri-La. We're not trying to do all those shenanigans. This is really good for going second. This you set up going first. So, uh, you know, cash stuff. We're playing one Gaga Cowboy, one Lightning Chidori. Like, okay, so the rest of the extra deck, I should say, or most of the rest is just like... Um, uh, utility rank fours because the deck makes rank fours like crazy cowboy of course for game is really powerful shidori is really really nice uh dugaris helps you summon back your ruby carbuncle from the graveyard which means if you have extra crystal beast in your spell and trap card zone the ruby carbuncle gets specialed and then you get to summon those back which is really powerful uh tornado dragon of course for back row baguska is really powerful access hot knight is also really powerful just again a bunch of toolbox stuff and then we're playing this small engine here for zeus uh, Chakanine only needs two level four monsters, so you go Chakanine into Borbo into Zeus. So Zeus is just really powerful. Like, this deck can be like Zeus Turbo if you want it to be, which is really nice. So uh, I really like this. And then lastly, for the last two monsters, we're playing the one donor. This card's really powerful. Um, just getting rid of extra cards your opponent controls is really nice. And one uh, win. So your Sapphire Pegasus is at wind. Um, and there's not a lot of times it comes up, but technically win can come up, especially because Unicorn is a is a win. So if you go uh, make with this take your opponents uh in, in the in the cost share matchup you take your opponent's um unicorn and then you can keep going from there so because then you can activate the unicorn effect etc etc so uh, that's it for the extra deck very consistent very simple extra deck nothing like too out of the ordinary here i don't think i changed anything up it's it's, it's really powerful and just really self-explanatory uh, it does suck when your opponent calls xyz on d barrier but it is what it is and then let me show you guys a quick side deck so there's one side deck card that i'm actually uh proxying because my friend let me borrow it but i'm just gonna tell you guys what it is so for our side deck uh, i think the side deck was perfect by the way three nibiru really powerful into any cash matchup any combo matchup uh same thing with game seal i actually really like the kaijus as well this is also going to be good going into next format into sayak which i'll do an updated profile post sayak because i feel like there are some things that you're going to need to change but i really like uh game seal as well so these are all our going second cards over here um and I think you need all of these cards because, again, like you guys saw in the main deck, you're not playing a lot of go second cards. So these cards are the cards essentially into any matchup that are going to be really relevant. Into back row, these are really good. Into a lot of decks, this is really good. This is also really good into a lot of the combo decks. So uh, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. These cards are just all really, really powerful. And then uh, the one card that I don't have that I was like I was actually playing, but I don't have it right now on me, is uh, a cold zone. Um, so I I will edit it on the screen somewhere. 
but this card's pretty much insane. It makes it so that if your opponent's special summon is like, what, exactly one monster. I can't, I can't exactly remember the wording. But if your opponent's special is a monster, essentially you can destroy it, which is really nice. And it's really good into the cash matchup. So you take out the Necro Valley because uh, Necro Valley doesn't do anything into cash. But then you can side that field spell in. And then when you go Bridge of Salvation, you can end on that. And that kind of becomes like a floodgate for you. It also puts a token on their side of the field. So once you destroy, let's say they special summon Unicorn, you destroy the Unicorn, you put a token on their side of the field. Now they have to have Birth plus another name to continue playing. So that card is absolutely just insane on its own. So yeah, we're playing only one because it's always searchable uh, in the combo. And then uh, we're playing two Book of Moon. This card I really like. So these cards are going first cards. Um, Book of Moon is also pretty good going second, but going first, I think these were perfect. So in our, like, so you play Branded and this card is just turn skip. Um, and this card is just insane into so many different things, right? So I really like D-Barrier. It's going to be also really good into the next format with Mana Dome because they're just pretty much Synchro base deck and you go D-Barrier, call Synchro. Um, it's not bad into Purely if you call Xyz. Obviously, Branded is really powerful. So this card is really, really nice going first. And then Two Book of Moon as well is really good into the Sprite matchup, really good into the Cash matchup and all those matchups. If you know you're going first, you can set these up, which is really nice. Um, so that's it. 15 cards in the side, uh, 40 cards in the main. This deck is super consistent. Um, I'll be honest with you. I won a lot of die rolls today and that's kind of why I was kind of talking about having more hand traps in the main deck because if I didn't win those die rolls, um, you know, my opponent can combo off. I'm really scared of math mech. I didn't see math mech today, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I think this deck is really powerful. Big shout out to Neshi again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Of course, this thing gets loud as soon as we're trying to end the video. Like it's, it's, it's just... Ugh. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to continue playing this deck. I think I found the deck of this format that I'm going to be playing because I think this deck is absolutely insane. I think you guys should try it out for yourselves. Thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko, signing out. Peace.